Meeting in foreign land. Yes. There we go. Salud. Salud. Blooper day today. Blooper day today. Another gene. Marco the salsa fanatic. Okay, as you can see, uh, this is Marco the Salsa Fanatic, and uh, this is my boy. We go way back, and uh, he decided he wanted to come to Medellin uh, to visit me, but also because Colombia has such a wide range of salsa. They're known for salsa, so he wanted to take advantage of that. So right here, he's at our place, and um, you know they, they're, they're teaching us some moves. He's also an instructor. Um, and yeah, so make sure you check them out. But yeah, so they putting on the moves here, and um, yeah, we we enjoying that pretty much. So, the thing about Colombia is you can go in Medellin is you can go anywhere like like this whole area, and they're gonna have a bar open, a club open, some type of open space with salsa music. You can dance. This is all. This is all throughout the week. And um, as you see now, we, we just walked up, there's several bars on the strip, it's, it's something to do, like all the time. Yeah, so, we had, we had a pretty good time there, you know, we just walked up to the bar, they was getting it in, the bar was empty, <laughs> they blow smoke like, <laughs> they blow like club smoke in an empty bar, but it was okay, it was pretty fun. Yeah, Medellin, my man. Yes. Give me shoe shine. Shoe shine. Shoe shine. Shoe shine. How we do it? Oh yeah. Yes. Getting ready for for the big day. Yes, sir. Tonight. Yep. Doing the pop at El Plato. So we started off that Friday. We're at the a place called the Envy Bar. But this is at the Charlie Hotel in El Poblado. And the reason why they call it the Envy Bar is because of those views. So we had a pretty good time there. You know, when it, later on, when it, you know, later throughout that night, it'll get real crowded. Nice little place to sit and chill, have some drinks, and, um, and uh, party scene. You know, they play music as well. So we wanted to go there and show them, you know, a, a good little place to go and meet with. And it was pretty good. It was pretty fun. Um, if you make sure you go there, you that that's like a must go. So we had a pretty good time there. Sit and talk, drink, had a few drinks. So I wanted to take them to a spot where it's known for salsa and Sun Havana is known for salsa. Strictly salsa dancing. We had a pretty good time there with the bands. Um, people were getting it in. And um, you know, it was, it was, it was something new because I'd never been to a salsa club, you know, before. As you see Marco and Najim doing their thing. They was getting it in. I love that club. It was a pretty good club. So we went to another club. Uh, this is Jenny Lau. Jenny Lau was more like a, um, they play all types of music. It was a, a huge club. It's mainly Afro-Colombian. Um, you know, here we are. We're up at the VIP part. And uh, it, was, it was pretty fun. So it was a younger crowd, but, you know, if you like that, to get in, it was free. We had a pretty good time. He's definitely coming back because, I mean, like I said, Colombia is known for salsa dancing. Uh, we're going to we're gonna make it to Cali because Cali is like the capital of salsa. And that's going to be pretty good for Marco. Uh, I'm going to leave you his link below because he gives lessons. Um, he's in the DMV area, but he definitely gives lessons. You got to get your salsa game up. That's the new type of dance. You gotta get that on, you gotta learn it. So I'll definitely, me and, me and Donna, we gonna get to it. And um, it was good. So dancing in Colombia is great. This is what they do. This is exactly what they do. You will have a great time going out and dancing. So this is Young Black Expats, peace.